So Nike, Adidas and Puma might not like this, but these two boots might just have shaken up the market real good. Today we're talking about the New Balance Furon V7 and the Tequila V4, which apart maybe from the new materials and the F50 Adi Zero leathers, I might book some of the best boots to come out this year. So in this video, I'll tell you what you need to know and also hopefully help you decide whether you should cop a pair or not. But can you buy them at Unisport, you ask? Well, yeah, link is up there and in the description. Let's go. But we start off with a few on these sevens that have been given a totally redesigned upper. Now, it's still mainly a knit upper using new balances, nice and stretchy so-called hypo-knit material. And it's also been given a relatively short off-center lacing and then a synthetic piece on top of where the laces would normally be. But this upper package of a thin, nice mesh on the inside and then this very soft knit as the base of the upper just gives you a really, really well-fitting pair of boots from the get-go that is also just like extremely comfortable to put on your foot. With that said though, it also has a little bit of a, like a close and snug fit where you get the feeling that the upper has a little bit of tension and structure to the knit. And that's all the while being, as you can see, stupidly soft as well. A very interesting combination that feels good. But normally a short off center lacing doesn't offer a mega secure fit or a lot of lockdown. But the thing is that here, the laces actually pull the synthetic piece down over the top of the foot, meaning that the lockdown for me felt better than I had thought it would be, which is a positive thing. I could have done with more traditional and central lockdown, but it does the job well enough. But the interesting thing about having the laces to the side is also that you get that free sensation that you would normally associate with a laceless boot, but you also still have the ability to adjust the fit and you get that adequate lockdown as well. It's a bit of both worlds. But what that off-center lacing system also does is to offer you a big, clean striking surface, which is always nice. I mean, it's just you and the ball which is hopefully a good thing. Now the touch itself is also relatively close and clean. You don't get tons of texture or grip on the ball, but it's not too smooth or slippery either. It's got a bit of a, a matte feel to it. Pretty no nonsense, and a lot of people like that. The tooling is the same that they used on the Furon V6s, which is fine. It was a solid tooling, not much new under the sun, has a lot of bite in the ground and feels pretty responsive, especially when you combine it with the Infinity Grip insole that the Furon has. Feels like a speed boot should. And that's a funny word, speed boot. Now normally speed boots come with this snug tight fit. So the Furons here have a, I wanna say almost unspeed boot like amount of width to it, which means that even with a wide foot, there should be a good bit of wiggle room. However, even with my relatively narrow foot, I still got that tight, snug fit I was looking for by going through the size. That's pretty good. Now, if you want to feel that bit more comfortable and feel like you're cruising in the boots, going up half a size is definitely also a possibility and still feel good. And if you have like a mega wide foot, New Balance also make a 2E wide version for those people as well. But what really stands out for me with the Furon is how they feel on your foot, because it's softer than the Speed Portals, it's also softer than the Ultras, and it's probably as soft, if not maybe a little bit softer, than the Mercurials. And it's also the lightest Speed Boot on the market right now. So it feels fast and nimble, but it's also really comfortable. And as of this moment, it's probably between this and the Mercurials in terms of the best Speed Boot on the market for me right now. <laughs> But the Tequila V4 is also an interesting beast. It's been re-engineered from top to bottom, meaning that you also get a full hypo-knit upper, which it's, it's ridiculously soft, but just like on the Furons, it has this feeling of an upper that has structure and tension to the knit as well. So it gives you an extremely comfortable fit that feels almost skin tight and really takes to the exact shape of your foot. And then there's this color. It looks almost dangerously tight and if I'm honest, a little bit ridiculous, but thankfully it stretches well enough so it's easy to get on and it also fits rather well. And I'd say it's a very particular fit around the ankle. You get a little bit of that compressed sensation, but it's also just a very nice transition from boot to ankle. 
And I think the best way to describe the fit in the Tequila is to say that you get this tight sock-like feeling of the Predator 18 Plus combined with the more cozy sensation, super soft feel of the A16 Plus Pure Control. So yeah, the Tequila kind of borrows from previous solid laceless options, but hey, it works. Now as for lockdown, I would say it's pretty good actually for a laceless pair of boots, especially because of this yellow padding you get in the heel. It's got a bit of a one-way grip, I would say. So when your foot goes down, it's smooth, but when it goes back up, it starts to grip the foot and hold it in place, especially if you wear grip socks. So nice little addition. And then there's the touch, which is honestly pretty straightforward. You have a relatively clean forefoot with a little bit of texture on it, and then you have these strips on both the inside and the outside for when you pass and dribble with the ball. And sure, you feel it, but don't go out expecting it to be a predator edge with this like super rubberized, very solid pass machine kind of feel. It's not that. Then on the other hand, you actually get an upper that moves nicely with the foot and is comfortable. So there's that. But you definitely have to appreciate that closer feel to enjoy the tequilas. Now we also need to talk about the outsole where you have these conical studs called cool, but in a bit of a twist, you also have these bladed studs on the very edge of the sole plate. It's something I last saw ages ago, and I didn't really notice it at first, to be honest, but they really come into play when you cut and change direction. It's nice to have that little bit of extra grip out there. But in general, for me at least, the Tequila might be the best fitting laceless boot. It's super comfortable, especially if you go up half a size. And especially for you wide footers out there, I reckon there's, there's a lot of upper to work with, so it should be pretty fine as well. And there's this thing that, would I have batted an eyelid if this boot had three stripes on it and was called Predator? And no, I probably wouldn't. Because, New, I mean, New Balance, they've borrowed a few things, taken a bit of inspiration here and there, which might be bad to some people, but when it does it better than the actual Predator, I don't care. It's a good boot. <laughs> So two very good new boots that I definitely think you should take seriously next time you're looking at getting a new pair of boots. And you can, of course, buy either of them in the link to Unisport right over there. Me, I'm probably gonna be on Team Furon, but what about you? What do you actually think of the V7s and the Tequila V4s? Let me know in the comment section right down below. And of course, also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And finally, if you like learning new football skills, and let's be honest, who doesn't? Link down there, the playlist is absolutely awesome. With those words, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.